What's going on y'all? I'm Jim Ansel. This is Real Deal Outdoors. And in this video, we're taking a look at a brand new lure from Biospawn. And I'm gonna show you a really cool way that you can rig it up. But before we get into this, I wanna thank Carl's Fishing and Outdoors for sponsoring this video. You know, they sent these lures over here for us to check out. Uh, I really love the action of this thing. And if you're a tube fisherman, this is gonna be a game changer for y'all. This is a really cool and unique take on the tube lure. We're gonna talk a little more about that here in just a second. But please, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, then smash that thumbs up button for me if you enjoyed this video. That helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. Also, drop your comments down in the comment section. I love to have conversations with you guys. I do my best to answer every single one of those comments. All right, without further ado, let's jump over and check this lure out. All right, y'all, so before we get into the uh, the rigging tutorial, let's take a look at the newest lure from Biospawn. This is the Vile Tube 3.5. Um, this is a very unique looking tube lure, and I'm gonna show you guys some of the differences uh, between this tube and your typical tube that you would normally have. Uh, I've got a couple of examples over here. All right, so on the right-hand side here, we've got the Strike King coffee tube. All right, and this guy, is pretty much what I've been using the tube fish with for a while. Um, pretty standard tube. Uh, these particular tubes are, are real nice and thick. They're real durable. Uh, they've got a real strong coffee scent, a lot of salt content. Um, but they're, they're pretty decent tubes, man. This is, this is kind of the industry standard, All right? And next to it, we've got the new Vile Tube from Biospawn. And this guy is very different from your typical tube for a couple of reasons. One thing, is you'll notice right off the bat here is we've got these wings on the side, these kind of stabilizing wings. Um, this is gonna change the action of this tube quite a bit. Rather than what you're gonna get with your typical tube, like this guy over here, uh, this tube is gonna glide. Now your, your normal tube is gonna have kind of a darting action and uh, it, it just kind of goes up, down, up, down, up, down very quickly. Um, there's not a lot of hang time in the water column um, it doesn't stay in the strike zone for very long. Now this guy is going to have more of a gliding action uh, because of these wings and that's going to be great for you guys who fish around real stubborn or lazy bass uh, who like to have something hang in the strike zone a little bit longer before they decide to take a bite. Um, I love that because that's that's exactly the kind of bass that I fish with around here. They seem to be very lazy and uh, they really like something with a slower fall rate. So this guy is going to be perfect for me. Now there's a couple of other differences on this bait aside from just having the, uh, the gliding wings there. Uh, you're going to see that in addition to your regular appendages, you've also got a couple of bigger, thicker appendages on here. And these are very similar uh, to the tail that you have on the plasma tail worm. Now they've also got these raised areas. You've got this right here. It looks kind of, kind of like an eye. Uh, and then you've got this bump this protrusion right here on the back and you've got it on both sides you've got it on the belly as well as on the top and those right there for me have been really good for uh, helping me with hook placement um, and i'm going to show you that here in just a few when we get into the rigging video uh, but it gives you some good markers for where to have the hook point come out and this lump back here gives you a good place to skin hook uh, to keep that tube jig nice and weedless all right, now the jigs that we're gonna be pairing these up with, uh, let's talk about those a little bit because these are kind of unique. Uh, I get my jigs from Secret Lures, then it's called the Stupid Tube Jig. Now it's uniquely designed specifically for, for this kind of setup, uh, for this kind of rigging, and it works really well for keeping your tube weedless and oriented the right way in the water when you're, when you're jigging it. You, know, you can pick these jigs up over at the Secret Lures website. Uh, I love these jigs. These are the only ones that I've been using for tube fishing for the last few years, uh, ever since I found out about these and, and used them for the first time. And I just love them, y'all. They, they do a really good job. All right, so let's get down to the part of the video that you guys are here to see. This is how we're going to rig this guy up stupid style. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the place on the tube where your hook is going to come through at. And I like to go in about a quarter of an inch past the head. I'll go down right about a quarter of an inch and I'll mark it with my thumb. All right, so that comes out to be pretty much right in the middle of that eye that I was telling you guys about right here in the middle of this protrusion. All right, and I'm gonna mark that with my thumb. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my actual jig 
I'm gonna thread it through the hollow part of the tube. And I'm gonna go down until I get to where I've marked with my thumb, and that's where I'm gonna bring my hook through at. And you guys can see here, it comes out to be right about in the middle of that protrusion, that eye. See that? All right, now, here comes the fun part. All right, with some tubes, you're gonna have a little bit harder time uh, than others. With this particular tube, this plastic is nice and soft and malleable, so it makes it a lot easier for you to get your tube head to run through this thing and then for you to be able to flip it. Um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. But with some tubes, the plastic isn't quite as forgiving and you're gonna have to be real careful with this. You're gonna have to just work that tube head up and you're gonna have to be real careful when you flip the tube head around not to poke a hole in your plastic. Uh, we're not going to have too much of a problem with this one because it stretches pretty well and allows for that head to uh, to flip around. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull your head, your jig head, up through the hollow part of this bait and you're going to work it around. You're going to flip it to where it is just about like this. All right, so we flip that jig head around and it's pointing in the right direction now it's oriented towards the front of the bait rather than sticking towards the back now what you're going to do is you're going to determine where your hook's going to come out at okay, right about here and then you'll bend your tube down and you'll bring your hook point through that tube's body and out the other side just like your texas rig in a worm or something and here is where i was telling you guys about those protrusions coming in handy. Um, it makes for a perfect spot for your hook to come out of, and you don't even have to skin hook it. Um, this, this protrusion kind of, it leaves just enough of a protrusion or a lump right there that when that hook point comes out the other side, uh, it's sitting and resting really nicely right on the body of the tube. Um, now, if you wanna go a step further, you can skin hook it, and you do that just like you would on a worm. Or anything that you're weedless, you know, rigging weedless. And there you go. Really nicely sits right there. Okay? All right, so the next step is going to be getting your eyelet out. And you can see the eyelet has already popped out right here. And I might want that to go a little bit further towards the front of the bait so that this rig sits nice and straight. All right, kind of like that. And there you guys go, man. That's basically how you do it. And this is gonna stay nice and weedless for you guys. The action is gonna be fantastic. Um, it just works really well. Uh, I've been fishing my tubes like this for several years now, and uh, I'll never go back to doing it the old way. Um, there's so much vegetation and stuff around here. This is, this is really one of the only ways that I get away with using a tube here. But uh, yeah, that's rigging it up stupid style, guys. All right, so there we go. Biospawn has done it again. Um, I love Biospawn lures. If you guys have been a fan of this channel for any period of time, you know how much I love Biospawn. Uh, they're one of the more innovative soft plastic makers on the market right now. They do some really cool stuff with their soft plastic lures, and this is no exception. Uh, as far as tubes go, this is one of the coolest tubes I think I've ever seen. I love that it has those wings on the side that kind of give it that gliding action. I like the two extra tails or appendages that come off of the back. I really like the way that it's designed to be hydrodynamic. You know, it's got all these extra little ridges and bumps and stuff on there that make it really easy to rig this in different ways. They kind of act as markers for where your hook comes in and out of. It's, it's just awesome. Now, I hope this tutorial helps some of you all out. Maybe you haven't ever heard of the stupid tube rig. It's just a really great way to keep your tubes nice and weedless. They'll come through vegetation really, really easily. And it's by far my favorite way to rig up a tube. Well, that's gonna do it for this video, y'all. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sticking with the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.